What's going on guys? So we are done with the season three, chapter one, Team Infinity. And we're gonna show you guys how that we did this. First of all, we didn't really do any moments. That's the first thing you can do is they like the moments. We did them, I think, for a few divisions just to get like the last 12K or so that we needed. Um, biggest thing, we grinded the repeatable missions. AO Central players get a thousand PXP for 7,500. It is repeatable. And every time you unlock a boss, if you get 500 PXP with any boss, you get 5,000 TA points. That's also repeatable. So we did those two things right there. The rest of the stuff we did not do. Uh, on this screen. So next up, we're gonna do the missions. We did do the missions. The missions are very easy, and the missions that we did with, I think, three different teams for each division. First up is the 50 total bases for 25,000 TA points, and the 15 RBIs for 10,000 TA points. This one is repeatable, so that's why it says zero out of 15. It's repeatable, and you can do it over and over and over again if you choose to. And also, if there's any mission that has a strikeouts with a pitcher, try to draft those pitchers, try to select those pitchers first uh, when you unlock them in Team Infinity so you guys can get 10 strikeouts with them and get 15,000 TA points. Now, we did all of this in Play versus CPU. So like you'll see on some of these that we did the Guardians as well. There's no pitcher on them. On the, on the Tigers, there was a pitcher. It was Riley Green, 10 strikeouts with Riley Green, 15,000 TA points. Along, we didn't do the total bases or nothing with the Tigers though. And we didn't do it with the Royals. I believe we did it with the Twins. Yes, so we did the Twins, Guardians, and White Sox for the AL Central. Uh, the next thing that we did, well, I'll just show you on this one right here, is we did do the exchanges. That's actually the first thing that we did to get as close to a boss as possible. So if you do the exchanges and then you do like four of the moments, you unlock your first boss if you want to go that route. Now I try, I prepared for this. I got the cards way ahead of time. So they're pretty much quick sell price. Uh, if you want to do exchanges, you're aiming for 73 or 74 overalls at 25 stubs. That is quick sell price. And it's going to give the most amount of exchange value. You can also just exchange duplicates that you already had that you don't have to buy. And that way you don't even have to spin those stubs if you have a bunch of duplicates. So definitely get rid of your duplicates in this if you guys really want to do this. 50,000 XP for TA points is pretty, pretty good. So that honestly is the very first thing I did before I even worried about playing any missions is I did do the exchanges. The next thing you could do is the showdown. The regular showdown is only two games. The first game you have to win is down 10, I think with like 20 or so outs. And then you uh, and then you get 10 runs towards the final showdown. And in the final showdown, you got to get 11 runs within like 35 outs and you get 15,000 TA points. So two games for 15,000 TA points. That's honestly not too bad. It isn't repeatable, but you can definitely get it done. The other one would be the extreme showdown. The extreme showdown gives you 30, 000, basically 30 vouchers worth of over 100,000 TA points. However, it's gonna be pretty difficult. It starts on all-star, it goes to hall of fame, it goes to legend, so it's not for everyone. But if you do complete it, you will get 100,000 plus TA points to whatever divisions that you want. You would just go over here, exchange 10 vouchers, select the vouchers for whatever division that you want, and exchange them. And then there's Conquest, but we didn't do the Conquest. But if you want to do the Conquest, it is basically a USA Conquest map. So you got to basically win 30 games, and then you get 125 TA points for every single division plus all the packs and other rewards that you get along in team of or in the conquest map. But that's not what I did. Like I said, we did the exchanges. Then we did the multiplayer or not the multiplayer missions, but the NL East PXP repeatable mission and the NL East bosses repeatable mission. Obviously each division, uh, AL East, NL East, stuff like that. AL Central, NL Central. So yeah, of course we did like every division and stuff. And then three teams, the total bases, RBIs, and then a strikeout if there was a with a pitcher. We did three team missions for each division. And then that's how we got this to 100%. So what do we get for this? Obviously, we got through a lot of the collections. Uh, season collections were at 42 out of 150. So we're close to the next wild card slot. We don't have to worry about that because wild card slot is open for everyone. 
And yes, SDS did this on purpose. They decided to open, if you guys got the wire card slot in the last season, that they're not going to make you have to unlock them this season. So they're there for people that did not play last season. They would have to unlock them. But if you played and unlocked wild card slots last season, you don't have to do it this season. Next is the out of position collection. We got 34 out of 40. So we have everything but Anthony Rizzo. This is just got to play like some of these cards are in packs and then some of these cards are not in packs. Now we're at 36 out of 40. I did put some buy orders in on cheaper guys. So we'll definitely take that. But obviously the other guys are in events and stuff. So we just have to slowly earn the rest of them right there. And then we have all of these packs to open, which we are going to do right now so if we pull any diamonds you guys will see it if we don't pull any diamonds you guys will not see it but 75 standards 36 ballins one jumbo pack 12 millionaire packs and 16 headliners pretty good let's start with the jumbo and see if we get lucky with the diamond and we do what's it gonna be it's gonna be a green out the gate lance lynn 96 overall let's freaking go baby we already had him he was a featured headliner and we pulled him 15k right there we will take that a headliner out of that pack is pretty good in my opinion we also got another gold and we did not get another diamond but let's go ahead and open up the rest of these packs if we get a diamond i will let you guys know and we got our first diamond round of five or six packs in it will be a purple, but hey, 3,000 stubs for us is very, very good. And it's actually an 89 overall, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That's 7,000 stubs. We'll take that. And our second diamond of the video, it's a going to be a blue. We got a Bryce Harper 91 overall. We'll definitely take that 17K in the pocket. Let's go, 50 standard packs to go. Can we pull some more? No more diamonds from the standard packs. We have 36 ballins. I have it packs. One out of 15 says we get a diamond. So we should get two diamonds if the odds are in our favor. And second pack, first diamond. Show us something good. No, it's gonna be a purple, but hey, it is still going to be a diamond and it's gonna be 88 Mason Miller. That's not a bad one at all. Hey, we beat the odds, our second diamond. Uh, another purple, who's it gonna be? It's gonna be Griffin Jacks, a new diamond. So only 3K for us there, but hey, we'll still take it. And now we're beating the odds, our third diamond pull. This time it's gonna be a blue and it's gonna be Ronald. Acuna a junior that's a big boy pull 64 a thousand stubs right there we love to see it and our fourth diamond from the ball and packs and this is gonna be a purple but hey after ronald Acuna jr can you really complain an 86 overall logan gilbert will take that one so four diamonds pretty much doubling our odds on ballin is a hat ballin is a gold packs pretty much and now we have millionaire packs can we do anything in these we'll have to find out two thousand stubs there a ball and pack there let's see that could be something maybe no nothing jump nothing but a gold there five thousand stubs we got eight of those another five thousand stubs so we got five more standard packs and a headliner pack from those millionaire packs. now we have 16 headliner packs to get through and we do get a diamond from the headliner pack and it looks like we get another headliner player in lance lynn he doesn't go for a lot we might want to keep him around his price will probably go back up once that headliner is out of packs and we get another one uh, but this time it's a purple so we'll take that though mason miller another 5500 stubs in the bank and that is all so we're looking at 3.3 million we have some other cards that need to sell but that is the end of the video those are all the packs from team affinity and if you guys want to see more be sure to let me know in the comments down below 
we do have the conquest map now i've even looked at this conquest map to even see what is possible with this because i would probably want to generate like the best season three squad so we could actually take a look at it and now we should be able to take a look at it but we have show packs it looks like millionaire packs a bunch of xp decent amount of xp some ballin packs as well and 10,000 xp once we complete all of it and hopefully some decent hidden rewards normally team affinity maps don't have a lot of good hidden rewards but this is a usa map so it could have some good rewards for us so if you guys want to see a video on this let me know in the comments down below be sure you guys like this video and share it with a friend and subscribe if you haven't already so you guys don't miss other content that we release and i'll see you guys in the next one